We all love our Hong Kong waffles, or Gei Danze is like one of my favorite snacks. But today, I'm gonna to show you something a little different. We are going to do a mochi filled one. Look at that stretch. Mm. So good. Hong Kong egg waffles start just like any other waffle. We have two bowls here, one for dry, one for wet. It looks counterintuitive right now, but this is gonna be our wet bowl and this is gonna be our dry bowl. You're gonna find out why in a minute. Here we have cake flour. We're gonna add some tapioca starch. It needs to be tapioca starch because that helps to get the nice crispiness to it. And then we're gonna add some baking powder, which also helps to get the crispiness and lightness. This is the flavor. This is what gets it the traditional egg waffle. Aside from the eggs, is the custard powder. If you don't have custard powder, you can use vanilla powder here or vanilla pudding powder. Let's give that a little whisk just to combine. So in our wet bowl, we're gonna have the star, these eggs, one egg and two eggs. We have to add our sugar in here. Whisk that all together. Hong Kong egg waffles, usually a street food. I think they're using evaporated milk because it's on the street, there's no refrigerators. So this will last much longer on the street. If you're gonna replace evaporated milk with regular milk, it makes the batter a little bit too thin. Um, so evaporated milk works much better in this case. And to finish it off, we're gonna add a little water. So just to give it a little more flavor bump, we're gonna add in our vanilla extract. We go dry ingredients into wet ingredients, otherwise you're left with this disgusting mess. No one wants a mess. And we're passing this through here so there's no clumps. It's all gonna be nice and clump free. And then we're gonna mix this all together. So the last thing we add to this is some vegetable oil. And so we use vegetable oil instead of butter or something heavier is because vegetable oil makes the waffles a little fluffier and lighter. We use cake flour because cake flour gets you a nice crispy outside and a soft fluffy inside. If you don't have cake flour, you can use all-purpose flour and just add a little bit of cornstarch to it and that gets you pretty much the same thing as cake flour, which is what it is anyway. So I told you it's gonna make sense and you want the spout for the liquid because we're gonna use that to pour that into our mold later. So we're gonna pass our mixture in through a sieve to get out any lumps or clumps. You need every last bit of this thing, you know? And so now you can see there's these clumps that you did not want and you're happy now that you strained it through. This is the basic waffle mixture, uh, but for the best results, you can put this in the fridge for an hour and that gives you the best texture. We're gonna put this in the fridge while I show you how to make the mochi. I never realized how easy it is to make mochi. Like it takes three ingredients and like three minutes. All you need is some um, sugar, some glutinous rice flour. You need to make sure it is glutinous rice flour. This is not gonna work and a liquid. I chose to use milk, but you can use water if you want. So we're gonna put our milk into our bowl, add in our sugar, some vanilla extract, pinch of salt, and our glutinous rice flour. We're gonna mix all of this together and mix it all in. The next step is just to put a little plastic wrap over it. And we're gonna microwave it for two minutes. I don't have a microwave out here, so I'll be right back few moments later. Mix your mochi, but before you do that, dip your spatula in water. It really helps so it doesn't stick. Mix, 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 mix. And now back in the microwave for two minutes. Be right back. Two very boring minutes later. And that's all there is to mochi. Easy as that. Three ingredients, microwave, and done. We're gonna need to cut our mochi a little smaller to fit into the waffles. So heavily dust your work surface in cornstarch, don't skip this step, I'll let you figure out why. You can roll your dough into little worms and then cut it with your spatula or a dough cutter, but I found the easiest way was just to use scissors. We have our mochi here. If they're too big, you wanna just take a, a scissors and just give it a little snip. We coated them with cornstarch, but you wanna just get rid of as much of it as you can, right? You need it so it doesn't stick, but if you have too much cornstarch on there, it affects how it cooks your egg waffles. The next thing we want to do is just to clean it out a bit. You can do this with a brush or you can air spray, but I find I get the best results if I just um, do this each one individually. A little oil there and I just dab each hole. We have to work quickly here. 
You want to pour it in from the center. You're going to fill those up. And don't get too greedy because it's just going to flow out the side. And then I use a spatula to just push it into the other holes. And I find this gives me the best result. And put your mochi in. And we're going to close it up. And immediately flip it. So two and a half minutes per side. After this, you're going to need to cool it. You can cool it flat, but who likes that? In Hong Kong, they're always nice and curved and they come in a bag. So I was trying to figure out what I can use in my house to make it curved. I was like, maybe I can use a bottle. But then I realized if I use a bottle, it will probably become all soft on one side. So the only thing I could find that was my smoke tube. So I'm going to try and do this in my smoke tube. I'm trying to show you the clean side. It is clean though. I cleaned it. Hmm. Cowan cleaned it. Ah! We're going to lay it over the smoke tube later so that we have a nice round shape. We are going to open this up and take it out. Look at that pole. Now you can experiment with different flavors and fillings. Let us know in the comment section below what your favorite flavors and fillings are.